All right, so as mentioned, I am going to show you guys what I'm doing to install the boost controller in the DSM. Uh, I gotta take the intake pipe off and then that'll expose the wastegate vacuum hose. Basically what I'm gonna do is this is gonna come from, this is the vac line feed from the compressor housing and this one will go into the wastegate. So uh, when it's wide, wide open or unscrewed, hardly any pressure has to come through here to go to the wastegate. When it's screwed down, more pressure has to go through, which means more boost. Basically, is the basis of how this works, this boost T. So, stay tuned, and let's do this. All right, so I got the factory lines off. This is where the wastegate attached to. That's where the compressor house attached to. Whoa. I, cheese Louise, I am keeping two factory clamps for the new back line. And uh, next mod, I'm telling you right now, is going to be a catch can because see a dribble of oil right in there from those two lines. One coming off the valve cover and the other coming off. Well, that's not, it goes right into the intake. Uh, no, it must be that one. Anyway, oil's getting to the intake as per usual. So catch can is the next mod. So I'm gonna finish this up and show you guys what I did. All right, so I finished um, suiting up the, the boost controller. This bottom one, this port here is going to attach the turbo compressor housing. This one is gonna to flow to the wastegate. And I'm looking at this thing and I don't know how much life this hose has left. I might just replace it now, but that's what it's going to look like. I'm going to go see if I have another hose for this one. This one looks a lot better. So, yeah, that's what it should look like after. All right, guys. So, the boost controller is actually hooked up and ready to go. Um, the only thing that's hindering this is see that hose I just replaced that black hose there because it was just like this one on the bottom which is ready to burst at any given time so I decided to um, mitigate my risk and I'm going to change this thing right now because it's going to burst luckily I have a stockpile of 2JZ parts uh, hoses included so it actually looks like this hose here is going to house that curvature just perfectly after a trim. So I'm going to do that and I will get right back to you guys. Stay tuned. All right, guys, should be good to go. Um, I replaced this hose. I replaced that hose. And thankfully, I had hoses that were perfectly shaped. Um, having a stockpile of super parts has prevailed for me previously as well So it's always good to keep parts um, Whether it be hoses bolts you name it from previous cars, so that's good. Um, I'm going to put the car back together now and Mount this guy right there easily accessible and I can change it on the fly so I'm going to do that and uh, put everything back together. So stick around. All right, everyone. She's all buttoned up. Uh, this isn't ideal. Uh, it's going to work for the time being. I can still adjust it on the fly. Let me see what kind of boost I can run. It's imperative you have a boost gauge. You do not want to over boost by running one of these things and damage anything in your engine really and always keep on top of maintenance um, if you have the means to do so fix it while you're down there because you do not want to fix it when you're on the road and uh, it could be dangerous it could be in a highway it could be isolated or it could be an expensive tow bill and you don't want none of that stuff so always do the maintenance when you're down here i found two hoses that were ready to burst i replaced both of them and i should be good to go for the foreseeable future so let's see 
what kind of boost I am running. So I'm just going to adjust it on the fly as I'm driving and go from there. Everything's tight. Everything's good. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you're a subscriber to videos. Not obviously a uh, subscriber of mine already. But um, yeah, just a short and sweet video of installing a boost control on a DSM. Nothing really to it. All right. Peace.